rap shit, fuck the rap shit. Coming into the heater, tell him clap this. Be on your dome and ain't gon' miss. This channel is for educational purposes intended for adults only. I do not condone in any illegal activities. Stay safe. What's up, homies? It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. I just got my power back sometime last night. It's been off for about a week or so now. I don't know. Some of y'all didn't know, probably. But i am been back down in South Carolina at my grandpa's house. Uh, we were just coming down here visiting for like a week or two. And then the damn uh, Helene or Helen. I don't know how you say it. I think it's Helene. Hurricane happened. Oh, wee boy. I'll just start from where it all started. That night, that the uh, I think it was Thurs last Thursday or Wednesday night, something like that. I heard that there was like a hurricane or whatever coming, but or offshore or whatever. But down in South Carolina, don't nobody even think about. Maybe you'll get a tornado or something like that around. Uh, but other than that, we ain't never seen no hurricane or nothing like that uh, in my life. I don't even think in my grandpa's life, but. Ooh wee boy, that shit was crazy. I woke up at probably like three or four in the morning. The wind was whipping like crazy. I could hear the uh, rain like hitting the um, the window and stuff like that. And then uh, my brother said he went outside and like no one down here was prepared for that. I can go ahead and tell you. The uh, telephone pole workers, power people, nobody was prepared for none of this shit, man. So, the uh, my brother went outside just to like look and see what the storm was doing or whatever. Whenever he went outside, our shit was flooded, man. I'm talking about there was probably four or five feet of water around my uh, house at that time. My truck, I'll throw a picture of it right here right now uh, if I can get my brother to send it to me or a video or something like that. Because my phones were completely dead. I couldn't, I didn't film anything the whole time. Uh, that whole week or whatever that the hurricane thing was happening. It was so fucking hot, man. Um, but yeah, my uh, my truck was just like sunk in the water. And so Dodge and the water, it, in the initial picture that I show you, the water actually got higher than that, but we didn't go outside during that point. But oh my God, dude, it almost freaking sunk my damn truck and took it away. I thought I was gonna come outside and this shit was just gonna be floated down the street or something like that. But uh yeah man it was crazy it was so damn hot the whole time because like i said um no air conditioning or uh, uh power was on some people had like generators my next my neighbor like in front of us had a generator so luckily i would get to um my son has this little uh like chargeable fan or whatever luckily we had that man i'm so glad we had had already uh gotten that fan previously like months before but, um, cause it definitely came in handy or else he would have been struggling hot as crap, man. I could just see it on him. He was just getting all red all the damn time and just sweaty. But, uh, like I said, luckily everybody was super nice. Like around the whole neighborhood down in South Carolina, North Carolina, everybody just been super nice. Like, uh, we went over there, ate at that neighbor's house, ate at that one. We'll cook some stuff. They'll come over here and eat. They let us charge up the, um, uh, my brother was going over there charging up his phone. I didn't even really care about my phone. I wasn't even thinking about filming none of it or nothing like that. I should have. I'm sorry for that. But all I was thinking about was trying to get my boy uh, not so damn hot. You know what I'm saying? Because it was like, I was scared, man. They, There was like all the stores closed down because the power was out. You couldn't get to Walmart. You couldn't get to nowhere with the, um, to get uh, baby formula or anything like that but people on like Facebook was um, coming back from like Myrtle Beach and different places like that. And like people was bringing a bunch of stuff uh, down here. So if you could catch somebody that was uh, already, like they'll be out, um, not, in South, not in South Carolina or whatever, they'll be out somewhere else. They would hit people up, do you want to us to get anything? bunch of people would just hit them up tell them that what they needed and stuff like that and then they would bring like a bunch of it back so luckily we got some uh formula like that my cousin uh found some from somebody that was like these littler sample packs of the formula that we use i'm so glad we got that too because we definitely needed it boy because 
We was out here struggling. <laughs> um, it, it was just sucking ass trees down everywhere. Luckily, at my grandpa's house, there wasn't too many trees. So we didn't get that much uh, damage. But at my girlfriend's house, oh my God, in Georgia, it about damn near got demolished, man. The, uh, the trees were so close to her driveway that whenever they flipped over, it just like pulled all the concrete up. You can't even get in her driveway. Her Mercedes got crushed. The house got crushed. The privacy fence got crushed. The It ripped the power cable power line or whatever out of the house. They got a, there's so many, there's probably 20 or more trees down up. There's a bunch of trees that fell halfway and got caught by other trees. They're like leaning a little bit. So they're gonna have to cut all them down. I have to move her mom out to Texas right now while they're uh, fixing everything. Golly, boy, it's crazy. CTC's older brother, uh, Pat, his damn house got crushed. The roof came completely off. Uh, luckily, he had just, like, he had a bunch of kids, probably about, I think he's got two boys, two girls, maybe. And, um,. They, uh, he had just gathered up the whole family in his room right before that. His son was sleeping in, in his own room, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, probably like five minutes after they gathered everybody up in the one room, a giant tree fell right where he would have been laying his head and just crushed that side of their fucking house, crushed his little room. I'm so glad that they got him out of there so nothing, uh, happened. Um, yeah, man, every people's shit was just getting destroyed, but luckily I don't know anyone that uh actually got like hurt or passed away or anything like that i know a bunch of people passed away a lot of people got hurt but luckily like nobody that i know um personally or whatever got hurt or anything like that but man it's just been crazy the damn government or the damn higher ups ain't nobody helping really bad he would just be struggling, just be having to help uh, neighbors helping neighbors pretty much around here. But um, <coughs> a lot of people still don't have power. Luckily, we got power. We're right next to one of the rich neighborhoods. And this is what's fucked up, man. The, the richest neighborhoods around here are the ones that got power back first. I don't know if they have like some damn say-so in some shit or they're just like, get them power back first. But first thing it was was all the stores and stuff got power and then they started hitting all the rich neighborhoods and luckily like i said we're connected to a rich neighborhood it's like the woods but uh it's like my neighborhood then woods and then right over there's the rich one so luckily i guess some of the houses over here were tied in to that uh to that neighborhood too so people's power started coming back on whenever the power came back on it scared the shit out of me because i was sitting outside uh, late as hell and then you just hear like I heard something like doo -doo -doo -doo, like something cut on in the kitchen and then my grandpa and my brother were in there and they was like oh and I said oh shit what, what that happened God. and uh then I could just hear people all around like for as far as I could hear just Whoa! just yelling like their power was back and shit man then everybody been stanking can't nobody take no shower well now I can but or I did right before I got on this video but, um, uh, yeah, man, I just been having to do a little wipe downs, wipe, uh, wipe the baby off. We did get to take him to my aunt's house, give him a little bath, like, uh, maybe like four days in or whatever. They had already, um, gotten power back. So no gas anywhere. Police is everywhere at the damn gas stations. Uh, escorting people in escorting you out my brother like right whenever shit opened back up he went with my um mom to uh a Publix around here or whatever and they had to wait in line i think it was only letting like 10 people in at a time and they said whenever they was in there you could just see people just walking up to uh the uh food and just putting shit in their pockets because ain't no cameras on so you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers be stealing the hell out of shit. People been just walking up into people's houses, uh, taking food because everybody been struggling around here, man. It's just been, like I said, down in South Carolina, we ain't never had no shit like that happen. Usually if, if, if there's like a storm or tornado happens, um, 
the power might be off two days at the most, probably just an hour or two, but golly boy, ooh, struggling. Like I said, my shit got flooded. Uh, luckily, a couple trees in my in this in our yard fell, but uh, look, there was one that was leaning like this on the power line. Then the wind blew it. Boom! That bitch <laughs> fell the other way. Luckily, so we ain't got uh, to deal with none of that shit. Just got a bunch of stuff to clean up where shit was just blowing everywhere. Uh, it happened the day before everybody's trash gets taken out. <laughs> so everybody's trash cans was outside. So shit was just. <laughs> I had diapers scattered everywhere, boy. We had to clean them all up, get everything up. Man, it's just been crazy. I'll probably make some more videos about it uh, later on. I'll get Grandpa Dab and my girlfriend, get their perspective or whatever on it too. Maybe something like that, but man. I'm just so glad that no nothing happened to anybody that I know or anything like that. Their shit got destroyed, but you know what I'm saying? You could rebuild stuff. Uh, but if somebody died, you can't really rebuild that bullshit. So, man, I'm just glad nobody, nothing happened to nobody. And hopefully nobody, uh, nothing happened to anybody out there. I know a lot of people, <coughs> those people that was in California, that was like, what, y'all had a hurricane? <laughs> that motherfuckers ain't even know nothing about it. But, oh, we, boy, we been struggling. I don't know, I don't know where them geese was at during it. They was probably just blowing around. But the only thing like good that's happened out of it is just people been outside, nice as hell. Um, people been like whipping up food for the uh, the uh, linemen and stuff like that. The people like fixing the power. Um, they had to the damn shit people from uh, Canada down here to help. Motherfuckers like, nah, bro, my power's out. I ain't going to work. Y'all gonna have to get this Canadians to come out here. Hey, boy, but they've been working like crazy, uh, fixing everybody's shit. I swear there was probably like 30 or 40 damn Duke Energy trucks all in my neighborhood just everywhere the other day. And then finally, like I said, last night, shit got fixed. Um, came back on. Uh, finally got to sit in the cool boy. I was just up there. Ah. Cause, dude, I ain't gonna lie. I cried one night. Uh, I was sitting there holding my boy. Um, it was so fucking hot, dude. I would kept like putting a... Uh, getting like a cold rag or whatever, like dipping in some water, because we had running water. Some places, some people didn't even have running water because the pipes broke and had doo-doo in the damn water. Why do you want to put the doo-doo pipe next to the clean water pipe? I don't know, but, so some people didn't even have water. Luckily, we had water, but, um, yeah, man, so I was like dipping a damn rag on his head and letting him just hold him while he sleep. It's about four o'clock in the morning. I'm sitting there nodding out and i was like well damn i better not go to sleep with the rag on his head because what if it falls down over his head he's gonna be like damn near waterboarding himself so then i quit doing that uh just we got this um uh you can't really see it but it's like a little fucking little canopy thing with like a bug net type thing around it because the skeeters was out boy i don't know the motherfuckers got whipped around whipped around in the hurricane the first couple days but they was out after that but um so yeah, we got this. We was sitting out here sleeping uh, for a couple days. Struggling, boy, struggling. I am so glad that it wasn't fucking hot as hell. Cause la uh, the week before this, oh my God, dude, we would've probably died if it would've been that uh, hot out here. But luckily, I guess with the hurricane thing happening, it like made the, uh, it was so damn cloudy all the time that it was just, um, the temperature went way down so whew, i'm so glad it was feeling pretty good out because like i said man we were struggling i was just sweating just sitting out there i felt like stoop kid i was just out there on the damn front porch all the damn time just chilling but uh oh yeah i'll tell you this before i get out of here all right so there would be little kids just riding around all the damn time like in front of the house you know what i'm saying because there wasn't shit to do they couldn't be inside on the damn uh, video games or nothing today was like forced to just come outside so it was like i ain't never seen this many kids around here but they were just going around everywhere and this one little boy he would go in front of my neighbor's house and she got like a uh japanese maple tree i think it is out in front of her house let's throw let's throw uh see who could guess what he was doing down there pause it right here take your little guesses and then you know what i'm saying unpause it and you'll figure out what happened all right so he 
kept coming by. If he was on a bike, if he was walking, if he was on his damn scooter, I saw him carrying his little laptop. I don't know why he was carrying it. He could, he he might have had power on it. I don't know. He might have had a damn generator or something. I know he wasn't researching nothing. Might have been playing some damn solitaire or something like that, some spider solitaire. But what he would come by that tree every single time, reach up, grab a leaf. This is how bad I guess the hunger was. He might just do this on a regular day. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to watch him and see if I can find him doing it now but he would reach up there grab one of them leaves off that tree and then just start eating it <laughs> i watched him do it probably three or four times and then i started telling people and then i was like watch him watch him he's about to eat a leaf and he, and he just eat it i told my little nephew about it whenever he finally come over here and he said uh he said well i'm gonna go see and he went over there and asked him he said yeah he had like three leaves in his pocket right then eating them I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> And so that's how bad it was, boy. Kids was out here eating leaves. But let's go ahead and hit this one more time. And thank you to so, uh, so much to everybody that was uh, telling me they're glad I was okay, um, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? That means the world to me. Everybody checking on me and shit. But yeah, man, it's, we've been struggling down here. Uh, hopefully it's good where you're at. Hopefully you wasn't in North Carolina or anything like that because I heard that shit is just destroyed, like, there's towns that ain't even there no more, you know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead and hit this and get on out of here, homie. But like I said, I'll probably have some update videos on stuff like that if I get up to her uh, mom's house and show y'all all that shit that happened up there. Ooh, wee boy. Maybe I'll, I might be able to get her to get uh, take some videos because she's up there right now. But hell yeah, homie, y'all just stay safe out here. Help your neighbor out if they hungry, you know what I'm saying? It's everybody's struggling down here. But hell yeah, I hope you like this video. Hope you're smoking on some good. Hope you're having a good day. I'm so glad we made it through it, boy. <laughs> found it. Oh yeah. Let's get it one more time for him. Hey boy.